OP07 is finally out. The new set 500 years into the future brings us into Egghead Island territory and we are going to be opening up two boxes of OP07 in this video as we usually do and hopefully this time we get to pull the Manga Boa Hancock. But if not, there's only one card that I would love to get from this opening. It's definitely Foxy. But in all seriousness, I would love to get a Bonnie alternate art leader because that's my day one. But also any other alternate leaders would do. Will we get lucky again? I got lucky last set and we open up a God Pack. God Packs do exist in OPO7 as well. But for now, let's just dive in and open up our two boxes of OPO7, 500 years into the future. And boom. Here are the two boxes. So shout out to Game Academia. I always get my boxes from them nowadays. And uh, this is a short clip of him. Uh, Mr. JJP, the owner, for hooking me up with the two boxes. There was actually someone in that store that opened up a Manga Boa Hancock. So here's a, a little clip of it. It looks really, really good. And hopefully, we get to pull some heat from this opening. Let's just get into it. I know it's been a while since I uploaded anything because I've been taking a little bit of a break. I usually do like, you know, set reviews, you know, talking about the alternate arts, but it's been a kind of hectic past few weeks. So I'm glad my return back to uploading on YouTube is actually the opening for OP07. So let's just get into it, man. First box of OP07, let's go. Um, there's a few standout cards that I want. I haven't actually looked at the full set. Um, and besides like super rares and all that but uh yeah so i've got to be as surprised as uh, some of y'all are if you guys haven't been keeping up with a lot of the alternate arts now actually the secret rares for this set is would be very playable uh like the ace and sabo so i wouldn't be too mad about getting a secret rare box as well so first rare so that's the thing i the name escapes me, but we did get the Zoro uh, card. Uncommon? Common? Yeah, uncommon from uh, Egghead. So it's quite good in uh, Vekapang. Shout out to uh, Noah who helped me test some of the new leaders. Uh, I will do, be doing like a deck profile on Vekapang and Bonnie because I actually really like those two leaders. Hopefully we get a Vekapang leader as well. We got a first super rare and yo, let's go. It's uh, Porsche, 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 Porsche. Uh, one of the Foxy Pirates. It's the Foxy Pirate Searcher. Dawn minus one, look at the top five. Okay. And you can play up to one purple character with 4,000 power or less. Very good in Foxy Pirate. So that's the first super rare of OP07 for us. That's great. There's also some of the SPs that we can potentially uh, get. And um, I, I mean, the Nami one with Otama would be one that I really, really want. But I actually... Loving the Eustace kid. I know he got his butt kicked, but uh, oh, there we go. We got a we got a leader. That's Boa Hancock. Not the alternate art, but still very nice. Oh, and the best card in the set already. We got Afro Luffy. Check it out. This is a banger banger box. Afro Luffy is pretty decent. I think the effect is pretty good. Um, I'm not a fan of Foxy Pirates. Sorry, don't come at me with your pitch, Fox, but. Foxy Pirates, uh, gotta see how the deck performs. We got the Magra Apu, Usopp, 2k counter for the uh, Vegapunk deck. We got Mas Deuce, and we got another super rare off the bat. It is. Boom! Basil MFing Hawkins. Very, very useful card in the new upcoming body leader. Tested with it, it's, it's really good when it's left unchecked because it's kind of really hard for your opponents to get rid of. Uh, Hawkins. Damn, that's a pretty sick looking SR. And yeah, the, even the alternate looks really great. And Basil Hawkins definitely really, really good in Bonnie. Uh, I probably need to pick up play sets, <laughs> playable play sets of all the green SRs. So Bonnie, <clears throat> as well as Basil Hawkins, probably need that. And a couple of Vegapunk cards like uh, some of the satellites are pretty... Ooh, look at that ace. Damn, sorry, lost my train of thought. Looks like uh, it was drawn by Boichi, but that's a really nice uh, rare ace. Some of the uh, Vegapunk cards uh, are actually, like the deck, probably you would need uh, the 2k counter Frankie and Lilith. So Lilith is a super rare. I be is Frankie a super rare? Yeah, I believe so. Or oh, it's a normal rare, but uh, the rest of the deck should be quite decently cheap. Hey, Nico Robin. Yo, look at that. I gotta bring back the Robin theme for this. 
because uh, that drip is unparalleled. And we got a one cost event card for black. Very nice. This crocodile as well, good in uh, Doflamingo. I think Doflamingo players will be very happy with this set. There's a lot of support for uh, Dofi, for OPO1 Dofi. And I know there's like a hardcore group of uh, people who love uh, Doflamingo. Big news, Morgans. This card, kind of problematic. I'm excited to see how uh, this card will perform in the meta game, but we gotta wait and see. Uh, the search for Bonnie, and we got Fisher Tiger himself, the OG Fishman. Uh, moving on, no big hits, but we got two SRs already. I mean, hopefully we get a leader. Let's uh, ooh, kind of see something. Maybe looks like uh, we got a hit coming. Not sure what it is. Ooh, let's see. All right, it is. Oh, it's a secret rare. It's Sabo. Nice. So this is the new Sabo secret rare that is coming out, uh, like that came out in OP07. And because there's been some rumors of bans restrictions that are coming our way, which will be announced in Worlds in about two weeks, uh, one of the kind of cards that are probably going to get hit is people are speculating it's Gecko Moria, which why, which is why this card exists. So if that ban or hit's going to happen, then I'm kind of glad I have this because if Gecko Moria gets banned, then this is going to slot right in to my Gecko Moria deck. But this is a secret rare box for the first one, which means I'm not sure if this is going to behave like EB01, where a secret rare box can potentially get an alternate art. So let's wait and see. I haven't seen any box openings just yet. So we can kind of move pretty fast. Yo, my boy Chopper. They they kind of did him dirty with this. Actually, the whole arc, but you know, everything worked out after after that. But yeah, secret rares uh, for this set. Ace especially, I think, is going to be uh, very, very playable. If Gekko Maria gets hit, then yeah, uh, Sabo is going to be uh, the one that <laughs> that's going to be slotting into that slot. Speaking of which, this is my day one leader. It's Bonnie. 100% gonna be playing Bonnie and we got another rare and Bonnie is strong y'all I tested it out a couple of times uh, a couple of days ago there yes Bonnie does kind of lose to certain decks maybe a little bit more aggressive but it is strong it's a strong <laughs> it's a strong leader uh, oh look the mini Sanji Zoro and we got uh, Ayn Yes, the new film card. This card reduces the power of something to zero. If Borsalino didn't exist, this would be a very good card. <laughs> but unfortunately, Borsalino does exist uh, in this world. But anyway, let's see what else we can get. I don't think we can get an alternate. I'm not really sure. Oh, there we go. We got a, a, a one of those Vegapunk cards. That's, that's the date beat that right there. It's Dragon. Also, a solid red leader, something that people have been trying to experiment with as well. And we got a Sengoku Searcher, the three leaders of our box, uh, Bonnie, Boa, and Dragon. Uh, one of them don't belong there, but it's okay. Anyway, look at that koala. Such a, such a great artwork. And little Reiju, we got the Vegapunk counter. And we got Kaku, also one of the new, I guess, CP0 archetype that's going to be coming out. Rob Lucci is also a leader in this set. So CP0 is going to have a few time, a few cards. Tusi is a super rare. Uh, Rob Lucci himself is a rare. So yeah, got to gotta have a... Oh, seems like a repeat pack. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, yeah, seems going to be strong. We got Atlas. We got the zombie Luffy. We got Luffy in the zombie. Shout out Trailer Bark. This is pretty cool. I, I haven't taken a look at the entire cut list, so I actually don't know what this guy does. Um, I will review the cut list in a future video, even though everyone has already done it. I will still do it because I want to talk about the new cards for sure. And again, big news of Morgans. Okay. <laughs> uh, is this Captain Jack? Captain Jack from Trailer Bark. Another one of the Vegapunks. And we got the one cost Deathwing event card. I think we are... Almost halfway through the first box. Don't worry, we still got another box coming up. It's going to be great. Um, I 
wouldn't mind getting another secret rare if it's an ace. I would love to get ace for some of the yellow decks out there. Vegapunk, definitely. And uh, we got the uh, Kinemon's signature move to cut fire. And I think uh, the value of this, I mean, of course, OPO7, everyone's going to be really, really excited because it's a manga boa. You can get a boa alternate art and you can get a boa Hancock alternate art leader. So, oh, there you go. A Frankie, I, I know I'm like, I should be more excited about the secret rare and, and everything else, but a 2K yellow counter that lets you draw one. This is good not only in Eno, but in like Vegapunk as well, even like Katakuri if you want to. But this Frankie is also as another strong 2K um, 2K staple. And, you know, yellow doesn't have enough great 2K counters. Am I right, people? Not like Capone Gang Beach exists. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, another Usopp. Uh, these 5 cost 6,000 uh, Luffy. People have been testing it, saying it's good in Red Green Law. Gotta wait and see. We got the Vegapunk Searcher. And we got Curly the Dan. So, also another speculation um, of a card that's probably gonna get hit is also the red Curly the Dan. Yes, it doesn't see a lot of play now because Sakazuki, Moria naturally check Zoro as a deck. But if the cards in Sakazuki and Gekko Moria get hit, would Curly the Dan, the Searcher, be something that, um, you know, that people will take advantage of and it'll be another reign of Zoro. Could be. Maybe that's why this card exists. Anyway, we will have a I think we'll have another video, in-depth video, talking about the speculation of whether uh certain cards need to be banned. I don't want to talk about it now, because you know this is an opening video. Boom, we got Rob Lucci, yo. I am the, in the camp that I'm not a huge fan of Rob Lucci and I didn't think he need, and I needed another leader slot. But it's cool. He has a white top hat now. Trafalgar Law, 2k counter for the Shichibukai archetype. Very useful staples all around. So pretty decent box opening so far. We I think we should still have uh, another one or two super rares. Maybe one more super rare. And then it should be uh, A-OK. -okay. We got Jinbei. We got the... Katori, and we got the, uh, I believe it's Ashura something. I haven't, like I said, I haven't read any of the effects this time for OPO7. I am a little bit behind on content slash effects, but you know, it's already been seven sets. So let me, let me relax a little bit. Doflamingo, there's our Dawn from the set. This is one of the sickest Dawns they've ever done for the One Piece card game. Uh, and something that I believe every Dofi player should have a 10 off because this is, you know, the Shichibukai after all, the seven warlords of the sea. We got Boa, uh, Mihawk, Doflamingo, Gekko Moria, and my man Kuma there. We all know what where this moment is from. And we got the uh, Boa Hancock's uh, event card. Wait, this one I need to talk about. Uh, essentially, this is Boa Hancock's uh, Diable Jambe <laughs> because you can target... Uh, okay, select up to one of your seven warlords um, and they get 2 plus 2,000 power. Then if the selected card attacks during this turn, your opponent cannot activate blocker effects. So blue now has a Diable Jambe typed uh, card that you can use to kind of swing in for game. So I think this card will definitely seem out some play or at least like a one or two copies in Doflamingo just to kind of get over the wall. Mostly the Borsalinos, the Rebecca, the Shaka. We got the Milkmaid, and we got Rogue. I need a place out of this for Bonnie, so that's really good. We got two more packs. Uh, I think we should still get one more Super Rare, unless we get something really sick, because you can potentially get Mangas from a Secret Rare box. I, I don't know if I'm ever that lucky, but okay, let's take a look. And we got a Sabo. Oh, sorry, uh, Lucy. And right now, last pack magic for... The first box, before we jump into our second box, let's take a look. It might be SR, if not, it's two. Let's see. And yep, one more super rare, and it's Lilith. Definitely a staple for Vegapunk. This is the searcher after all, and Lilith, I am looking respectfully at your card, but you have a really, really great effect because it's trigger, you can play it if your leader is Vegapunk, and you get to search. Really great card. So, okay. Recapping on the bigger hits of uh, this box, it we did get the uh, Super Rare for the Foxy Pirates Porsche, Porsche, 
I believe that's the name. Uh, we have Basil Hawkins, staple for, I guess, Jewelry Bonnie, so I need it. We got Lilith, staple for Vegapunk, so I do need it. Uh, the Dawn from the set is the Shichibukai Dawn, and our big hit of the box is the Secret Rare Sabo, which could be very useful post ban restriction, etc., depending on what they hit. So, great first box, great start to OPO7. Let's clean this up and jump into our second box. Okay, now we are jumping into our second box of OPO7. Let's go. I, you know, if it's another secret rare box, which uh, could be, I wouldn't be too mad because I want that ace, man. I need the brothers. But if this is an alternate art box or an alternate leader box, I would be so stoked on that. So let's take a look and hopefully uh, we would see what we can get. All right, another fresh box open. Let's get into some OP07. Now, uh, we will kind of skip over some of the cards, uh, especially the ones that we've seen. Hey, what's up? So we can go a little bit faster. This Mihawk, I want to see whether this is good because it's 8 cost, 10,000, draw a card. I mean, it's kind of good, right? All right, another uh, Super Ray. Yeah, right off the bat. Oh, we, okay, we got another Porsche. So does that mean I got to play Foxy Pirates? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below if I should play Foxy. I will try because I don't know whether Foxy is good or not. Anyway, moving on to the next box. We got a Sengoku Searcher for uh, the Shichibukai. People say it's weird, but it's perfectly on flavor that Sengoku is kind of like, he's like the liest point between like the, the, like the pirates, the Shichibukai and like the Navy. So it's kind of understandable. Uh, we got another Kaku rare. So let's go. I, there are some alternate arts from this set that I actually really, really like. Uh, of course, uh, Dragon. I think uh, Dragon's, uh, Dragon Super Rare Alternate Art is drawn by Akira Egawa. So that's something that I really, really want. I think I see something. Looks like it's... Uh, oh, it's a Super Rare. And it is none other than Stussy. Our first Stussy Super Rare. Um, this also is a really strong one. Uh, but it's 9 cost, so we got to see whether it's going to see like massive play compared to like, you know, Moria and stuff like that. But uh, good in... The Luchi deck. So I think there's a place for uh, Susi for CP0 Rob Luchi players. Now we got two SRs down. SRs. So let's see what else we can pull. We have Mass Deuce. We got a rare. Rob Luchi. Yeah, there we go. That's the Rob Luchi uh, rare. Very, very nice. Along with Kaku. Got a few staples here and there. I think I can put up a few more. And probably get what I need. I still need that Bonnie Super Rare for play for playability. I really do. We got Luffy. We got another event card. And we got the one cost uh, Kinemon event card. Now, yeah. Uh, if I need four a play set of Bonnie, I'm probably going to pick it up off the secondary market. Because uh, the first week or so, people are definitely opening this set like crazy. And definitely because Boa is a manga rare. People are going to be opening up a heck ton of product. So, but here is our Foxy leader looking very handsome. And we got Curly the Dan. So let me know if, I don't know, man. I, I, I haven't tested Foxy at all. It wasn't a leader that I'm looking at, but if y'all want a deck profile, I would definitely test it out. I have some OPO6 stuff that I still have not uploaded. So I probably have to get around before English OPO6 comes around, but I will prepare some decks for you guys to take a look at. There we got another red event card. Moving on quickly this time because I don't want this video to be half an hour long <laughs> like I usually do. But yeah, okay. I hope we get the other set of three leaders uh, or at least one. What's the leader that I'm missing right now? I'm missing Vegapunk. I need that Vegapunk leader. Just the normal one would do, but the alternate would be better. Uh Oh, we have an alternate. It's blue. I think it's Trafalgar. Oh, there we go. Hey. Trafalgar Law Alternate Art. So this is an alternate art box. Really, really nice. Let's go. Look at that texture, yo. And this is a staple uh, for blue players. So I know I know, uh, like some Shichibukai players, they are probably going to want this card. Uh, yeah, you can return this character to this owner's hand. If your opponent has six or more cards in your hand, your opponent places one card from the hand at the bottom of their deck. And it's a 2k counter. 
So you can kind of bring it out with Go Flamingo's ability. You can, or Jinbei's ability for the matter. Return it back to your hand and your opponent didn't have to discard it. So this I will sleeve. Now that's a nice looking Trafalgar Lore. There we go. Well, I'm glad we got an alternate art so I can show you guys how really nice. Speaking of which, I actually did pick up some new sleeves from Game Academia. It's the new Perona sleeves. Hey, that's a little extra right there for you guys. This looks really good. I'm not a huge Perona fan, but I got to pick it up because it's cute. Anyway, moving on with the box opening, we got our big hit, which is Trafalgar Law. Can we get a leader? That's the, that's the important question. Can we get some hype leaders? So let's see. We, oh, there you go. That's the normal Trafalgar Law. And here's our alternate art. Both of the artworks look really good. Very, very nice. All right. Yeah, so can we get a leader? And I, I tweeted this before, like uh, I'm gonna put up the opening video, but I'm not determined that it's gonna get, I'm gonna get a God Pack again. Not everyone is so lucky, nor am I. We got a Uroke. I think this card is really good in Bonnie. I will, I, I think it's good. Even if it's a four cost that can be rested by Amaru, I think the effect alone is pretty decent. So let's let's keep it going. Hopefully we can get the Bonnie super rare. Not yet. Oops, sorry about that. And yeah, and most if we're lucky. Uh, we will still be opening up another two boxes in the future. I'm just waiting on them to arrive. So probably another video opening up again. Oh, that's pretty cool. This is the Mega Mega Right. Mega Right. Um, it's a blocker and on play draw one. So. I wish, I think there will be more Kuja Pirate support in the upcoming set. So if you don't want to play like a Shichibukai um, Boa, you could play a Kuja Pirates Tribal. I think that would be really, really nice. And we got another Rob Lucci leader. We need our Vegapunk. And we got Lucy as our rare. Almost halfway through the box. So we still should get another one or two super rares. So if you're watching it until this far, I do thank you for always supporting the videos. I know I've been gone for a while. But I'm back for OPO7 and all the OPO7 content. Uh, OPO6 was just a really, really fun set. Hey, we got a Bonnie leader. And we got Baccarat. Also a really you know, decent card in Red Purple Uta, maybe. Red Purple Uta is also another deck that I've been trying to make work. But it's tough. But it's okay. All right, let's take a look. Uh, now that like the EB01 stuff is on the sim, I'll probably make more profiles on that as well. I've got another rare. I gotta sort out the cards before I lose more cards uh, in my ever-growing pile of bulk. Uh, yeah, I'm still looking for the... Let's go. Uh, Vegapunk <laughs> leader. But here we have our Dawn yet again. Man, it's such a great Dawn. I love it. We got Ace as the, the rare of the pack. Damn, such a great Dawn. I need like a full... I need a full set of 10. Oh, Okay. So, okay, let's, is this, this is, okay. We got to calm down. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think it is, but we have a red back. So when a card, when we open a pack and the last card is a red back, it's probably a leader. It's an alternate leader. So I'm going to take it out of pack. I'm going to flip it over. It's not a god pack. It's just a normal alternate leader pack. But still, no, I'm not that lucky. But we did get an alternate leader, so I'm excited to see which one we get. Please be Bonnie. Alright. We're gonna go, we're gonna slow roll this a little bit. Got the Jinbei. We got a shark. We have Bartholomew. I'm nervous, man. What cut is this gonna be? It's Vegapunk! Wow. Let's go! We was we were searching for the normal Vegapunk leader, but we got the alternate one. We got the alternate art one instead. Let's freaking go! This is such a really, really nice card. This is actually one of my favorite alternate arts that I want, uh, because it's, look at the colors, man. Look at just how colorful it is, and um, it's a yellow leader. Means, and if this is the alternate leader that I open, step aside, Bonnie. It's Vegapunk time. Let's go. Gotta leave this real quick. Guess I am going to be. A day one Vegapunk main. Look at that. Oh, what a what a lovely, lovely leader. No god pack this time. It's okay. You know, let let someone else open it. 
this this set I'm I'm perfectly fine with collecting the individual leaders. But now I got Vegapunk, so I only need to collect five. One of them is more Hancock, so it's gonna be a bit pricey, but can't go wrong with Vegapunk. I guess it's yellow time, baby. Let's go. Vegapunk leader for the win. Oh man, that's such a great, great alternate leader to get. Okay. All right, now we can, <laughs> we're going to end the video on a high. Uh, we got uh, two really good cards. I mean, alternate art Trafalgar Law for the playability. I know some players will love it, so I'll probably trade it for something because I'm not going to play Shichibukai. We got an Otama uh, and Vegapunk. And seeing how we got some, um, you know, uh, Vegapunk cards already. And I do have, uh, I, I did proxy up a Vegapunk deck to actually uh, play, uh, to, to test. So I think it's it's a really good deck. We got the perfume female, and we have uh, four more packs to go. Man, what a what a what a great box! Thank you, Game Academia, Mr. JJP, for hooking me up as always. Now let's see. Now let's see. If we can end this video on a high. Look at that! Did beat that dragon, super rare. This is a nice super rare, and it's strong. It's red, so. Hopefully some red players out there can make him work, especially with the new dragon leader. I think the ability is quite strong and the, uh, like giving rush, I mean, having rush and also uh, being able to transfer dawns. Yeah, you're going to you're going to be hitting for quite a bit. All right, uh, we have three more packs, so let's just open all of them and then admire our pools. Yo, we got the Foxy. This is such a great artwork, man. So if you know, you know. This, the 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 slow slow beam, perfect for Foxy. And yeah, two more packs to go. I don't think we're gonna get a manga boy Hancock, and that's perfectly fine. Um, we got the Vegapunk leader. Oh man, such a great, such a great leader, man. I'm so glad we got Iron. And let's just finish up last pack, Magic. Uh, if it's not uh, anything good, please give me a Bonnie SR, so that I don't have to get another uh like full four we got a boa and okay it's the oh this is a very interesting event card uh searches for not only big mom pirates but uh animal kingdom pirates so hint hint on the purple yellow you no know, uh big mom slash i don't know animal kingdom leader maybe well, i don't know i don't know but it's pretty cool all right so there we go so our big hits for this box well, Dragon, Stussy, and Porsche, uh, the Super Rare. We got an alternate art of Trafalgar Law, looking hella sick. Of course, we got the Dawn as well. And our big, big hit of this box is none other than the alternate art of Dr. Vegapunk, which this card is an entire spoiler on its own, but it's fine. Um, yeah. That is a sick, you can see like punk records, you can see like Lilith, Atlas, and the rest of the satellites at the back, and good old Vegapunk front and center. Day one Vegapunk, let's go. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna main him for OP07 then. Let's, let's forget Bonnie for now. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We did get quite a decent uh, range of hits. We got the Secret Rare Sabo that may or may not be good. Coming in uh, <laughs> post worlds, we got the alternate art law, and of course we got the big old Vegapunk alternate leader. So let me know, did I do good? No god pack this time, it's okay. We we give it to give the luck to someone else this time. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I know I've been away for a while, but OPO seven man, starting off with a bang. You're gonna make Vegapunk great hit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. We got more OPO seven stuff content and OPO six stuff content for the English folks. Um, coming out real soon. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.